Hello guys and welcome back to episode 9 of Glory Hunter with me Alex and today we're going to get straight into the second leg of the Newcastle game where we did lose 3-2 last time against them against Newcastle at our stadium. We were away from home this time around. What's happened since last time? So we played Newcastle then in the league. We've beat Wolfsburg 3 0. Well, obviously, that was last episode. Then 3 2 against Hoffenheim at home. And then 2 1 loss to Union Berlin, where we struggled. Vita Roque playing a great game, but we just struggled massively. You can see in the Bundesliga, our form has been absolutely sensational ever since we had this really poor run up here. It's been absolutely fantastic, but in the Champions League, We've actually just been really poor. So there's three players injured for Newcastle. We're away from home. We're gonna we're not gonna go positive. We're gonna stay balanced. I want to bring in Andre just to we're gonna bring him in as playing that box to box midfielder. Royce is gonna stay in there because we know he's much better than, in that position than anyone else in that deep line playmaker position for us for now. We're gonna play Makoko and Haller up front. So this is how we're gonna line up. Shula Schlotterbeck. At the back with Matthew and Wijndal as their wing backs, Andre and Royce in the midfield with Almada on the left, and then Brandt on the right. Haller is a complete forward, and uh, uh, Makoko is the advanced forward. So let's just get straight into the game. I'm playing it balanced, we're away from home. There's nothing. I don't think we should go cautious. I think we should go balanced because we do need to try and get something out of the game. So I'm going to point the finger. I want to be impressed today. Let's try. You know, I need a strong defence. Pump up the fists for everyone else. Get everyone's like go in, get everyone hyped up, and we get straight into this action where we're playing against Newcastle. We've got Emre Chan, who obviously we've sold to Newcastle, but that is a strong, strong team, even from the back to the front. It's a very strong team, but I uh, want a very young one nonetheless. But I think we've got a good mixture of players in there. So anyway, let's get into the game. They're not looking great. They've got a few players that are looking a bit out of out of fitness or not not sharp should i say so let's see what we can do today against newcastle if we can try and get a win here and try and get a like just a, a clinch a one niller i'd be more than happy with that as a result as training trippy is just putting the bottom right hand corner just as easy as that he's just he's just cut inside ran past them and then just rifled it in that bottom right hand corner it's one nil within 10 minutes they're already 1-0 up. That's just so depressing just to start the game off. I don't know how Cobble's not covered off his near post there, but how Trippy has scored that, I don't quite know. I've never seen him do that in my life. So they've had one shot on goal at the moment, 0.1 XG. I mean, I'm not going to switch anything up because we've been we've been all right. I'm going to demand more from the boys, try and get a bit more out of them. Wijndal in the 25th minute has a throw in here. Can he maybe get a ball in? Andre plays it in towards Haller, who's taken down. It looked like they won the ball there, though. Uh, if it was up to me, that wouldn't be a that would not be a penalty. It, it looks like it was a clean, clean tackle, but a penalty has been awarded. Haller stands over it. What can he do here? Can he get us back on track? Can he maybe settle this for one all? He can. He can. Pope dived the right way. A panic there a little bit, and as he picks up the ball to try and get <laughs> run back to the centre spot, a bit of a goofy run there. As he thumps that past Pope power on it and Pope who's a big big set lad manages well can't manage to get to it Makoko stands over a free kick as it's deeply played in Schuler head, heads that out Makoko picks it up again we can sort of reset here now Schlotterbeck into Wijndal he's going to turn his man and go forwards down this left hand side can he get past him he can't and Almiron takes it off him now then Newcastle can probably go forward and be dangerous from this but Andre intercepts it Almada now into Andre back to Almada who can go forward he can strike it and cut inside from that left hand side Almada with the goal absolutely unstoppable from Almada there and that has been placed into the tightest of spots in the right hand corner of the net beautiful goal nice little bit of interplay here Andre to Almada Trippier runs in there's acres of space in behind the defense and Pope can't stretch there 2-1 now we're on track we're, well we're not on track but it's four all there's no away goals is there and I think at, at the moment I think it's going to go to extra time anyways Wichendal intercepts that and Cobble ends up with the ball he punts it clear can Makoko win the header he can't Joe Linton gets it now into his feet Wilson plays it through to Maxi Alan St. Maxan uh, whatever his name is Alan St. Maxim that's it I don't know what I just said then either way the goal has been awarded that was an, a very very clean running through by Newcastle there headed on by Botman into Joe Linton, two touches, one touch by Wilson, one touch by St. Maximin, and it's into the back of the net. I don't know why he's called Maxi. I'm really confused why he's called Maxi, but anyway, let's have a look now. Can we maybe fire up the lads? Come on. As we've come to half time, we're going to go into the dressing room. Hands on hips. I think we've been unlucky so far. I've got to admit, I think we've actually genuinely been unlucky. The XG suggests otherwise they shouldn't have two goals. They just shouldn't. We're going to go a bit more positive. I'm going to encourage the side. 
Royce is having an absolute stinker out there. I'm going to bring on Nemeka to replace him. Andre's looking a bit worse for wear, but he's having a fantastic game. Makoko not having a great one, so Vitoroke can come in to replace him. Julian Brandt on that side is not having a brilliant one, so Rooney can come on. Andre, I'm going to bring him off and put Renato Sanchez in for him because he is looking very, very tired out there. Vitoroke heads that clear now, which Naldon picks it up, though. Return to Newcastle. What an, what an interesting signing. We've crossed it in. Wijendal tries to keep that on. He has. Wijendal gets it back in, though, and it's four to Callum Wilson. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Callum Wilson's put it into the back of the net. And now we are looking really, really worse for wear. 3 2 to Newcastle yet again. Wijendal, what are you doing there, son? I don't know what you're doing there at all. As it's crossed in, Callum Wilson's there. He's injured as well. He's injured. We're going to have to go attacking and I'm going to have to push players forward. Let's go much more wider because we need to probably play a bit wider. Let's get players pushing much higher up and get into them because they're very very tired as you can see here now maybe we can get anything if there's get anything from this now that'd be fantastic is don't think we will we're coming up to the 95th minute now that's going to be it all that's going to be all folks and newcastle don't i don't think they get a deserved win there i'll be honest with you 3-2 in a game like that where they didn't even have that high an XG. FC Porto have dominated into, they've seen them out of the Champions League. We're now sadly out of the Champions League, but it means we can focus on the league and we can focus at trying to keep this first spot, which we've had for plenty of the year. So I'll join you back when we get Werder Bremen, when we'll play Werder Bremen away from home. And I'll join you back for that one. So see you in a second. So you join me back for the Werder Bremen game away from home. This one, we are currently sat five points ahead of Bayern Munich in the league with a seven goal difference. So we're gonna go we're gonna go attacking in this one because we are against obviously Werder Bremen who are fifteenth. Giovanni Reyna has actually picked up a bit of a knock, so on that right hand side we're gonna play Rooney. He wants to play in the winger support role, so I'll let him play that. I was, uh, I will let him play that. Vitor Roque is gonna come in because obviously Makoko has picked up an injury. That's how we're gonna start the game. We've got Ryerson in there. Can he do, can they switch out? No, they can't. Schlotterbeck in there as well. Tomori, I'm gonna bring him in for Schlotterbeck because I just think Tomori is a bit better than him. And let's get into the game attacking we're going to go for it we're going to we've switched up the formation a little bit there I, i'm playing around with the formation still i've got to admit like this is obviously the first save i've done in the, on this fm so i want to I want to just make sure that I know how the best formations roll. That five at the back, so this formation basically, the five-two-one-two, two, that works. That's a great formation. You could probably win the league with that. With well, I've near enough won the league with it with this team. This four-one-two-two-one two, one, or the four-three-three. Three, I want to see what the best way to play this is because I've had the advanced playmaker attack with a box-to-box -box midfielder and a ball-winning midfielder, and it's worked quite well. The ball-winning midfielder is just a bit questionable, so maybe having a deep-line playmaker in there and Andre will maybe change my mind about this whole formation in itself as the long throwing in the third minute by Agu it goes to Adyemi who's obviously gone on loan from us and Nicholas Fulcrum has actually managed to put that into the back of the net we're going to encourage the side we need to get something out of this we can't afford to lose a game like this because this is something where you know a 15th place side should not be beating us Adyemi plays it inside Gross is there it falls to Fulcrug who's just about on side he shouldn't be onside there. We should be playing him off. And that is a poor, poor start for us against a side that are playing so defensive, it's unreal. They actually deserve to be winning this game completely, as we've got a highlight here, though, as we might be able to go forward. Vitor Roque on the ball, plays it inside, nobody's there. And now, Werder Bremen come forward, full clug on it, gives it into stage. I don't believe that's how he pronounced his name, but anyway. Agu plays it inside, and Mafio's there. Cobble slurps that up. Tamori, out from the back. Ryerson comes forward down this left-hand side now, plays it into Almada, who's had a fantastic game last time out. Plays a beautiful ball towards Roque, and that... That looked like a fantastic save. What a brilliant save that was. We've got a corner now, though. Rooney stands over it. What can he do with it? Whip the ball into the box. Nobody's there. And Agu Almada will play back to him now. I think that might be the end of the highlights. Tomori picks it up. And yeah, that's the end of it there. I think what we need to do is maybe get another player forward. Just look at the amount of defenders I've got there. Seven defenders or eight defenders in there. We're better than this and we know it. I'm going to say that to them. Let's go back out there again. This is just so poor. So, so poor. I guess I'll just have to... To change up the formation again and just see what we can play with so Brandt can play in behind the striker I know he can Almada actually prefers it there so we'll play him there Brandt can go out on the left I know Brandt can play on the left hand side Almada likes it through the middle I know he does uh, Andre can play the deep line playmaker role and then we'll have a ball winning midfielder in Sanchez as well Rooney that's playing as an inverted winger why not and Vitoroke can play up front 
We'll let the wing backs go on attack. It's a bit of rock here having a stinker, so let's bring on Sebastian Haller. Let's play him in his preferred position. We'll play him as a target forward, and let's confirm the changes and go from there. Let's see what we can change up here now in the 60th minute. We need to get something out of this. We need it. Let's try and see what we can do. So we've played out from the back. Ryerson picks up on this left-hand side now. It's switched towards Mafia, which is a beautiful ball out wide. Mafia now got acres of space to work with. Tamori into Ryerson. A bit of a weak pass there. And we seem to be building it up from the back now. We're playing it a bit shorter. We're playing it a bit more concise. Nemeka finds the ball to Almada. Great little bit of interplay here. Rooney into Almada, who's through on goal. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Great goal by Almada there. Schuler's going to come off. We'll bring on Schlotterbeck to replace him because he's looking a bit worse for wear. Almada, another one that's looking not too great. But he's, he's the focal point of this team so far. Haller doing fantastic, playing it backwards. Rooney with the through ball into Almada, who slots it home. Beautiful ball, beautiful goal, and Pavlenka has been beaten. He's near post. We're moving, we're making the difference here. Now, Cater standing over the ball. Can we head that away? We can, and Haller gets it towards Rooney. He's got a bit of pace on him, Rooney. Can he go forward? He can't. Mafio into Rooney again. He plays it backwards. It's a risky one, and Ronaldo Sanchez managed to pick that up, and we can settle at the back here and reset. Almada picks it up, plays it to Brandt, who's out on the left-hand side. What can he do with it now? Maybe he'll cross it in. Who knows? He lumps it forwards towards Rooney, who's not there. Mafio now, he's going to get a chance to cross it in. What's he going to do with it? Finds Rooney. Again, it's cleared away. Schlotterbeck tries to take it off Adi Amy, and we know he's got pace because he does obviously, well, he plays for us. He's on loan from us. Schlotterbeck tries to tackle him, and that's going to be under that highlight. Almada looking really tired out there. I'm going to have to take him off. We're going to bring on Giovanni Reina to take his place. Ryerson now, there's a high, another highlight as it's played back to Tomori. Ryerson on the left-hand side into Haller. Haller to Brandt. This is more like it. Ryerson now down this left-hand side tries to find Brandt and it's a poor pass forward as they're trying to play it out from the back here. Agu picks it up into stage. We tackled him. Tomori with a great tackle. Rooney in towards Haller. Can he find Brandt? He can't. Nemeka into Ryerson. We're playing it nicely around the back here. Ryerson takes it past his man. What's he going to do with it? He's going to take a shot on. And it's a great save by Pavlenka. Yet again. Yet again. It's a corner now. Rooney stands over it. Heller's at the front post. It's off the bar this time. Oh, come on, boys. Oh, no. As there's an injury, we can't we can't make any more substitutions. Reina's going to go out on this right-hand side. We can't make any more subs. Oh, it's so annoying. So for the last 20, 10 minutes... We're going to have to play with one less player. Oh, that's not that's just not good at all, is it? As In the 89th minute now, it's still one all. Can we maybe sneak something in at the end of the game? Fire up the lads. 92nd minute now. Creeping up to the 96th minute. Is there any, going to be anything else from this? I don't think there is. And we're going to see the game out into the dressing room. I have to sympathise with you, lads. We probably should have got something from that game. But either way, not a fantastic episode, this one, as we've drawn with Werder Bremen, who is sitting in 15th place. And that's a massive point for them. That's absolutely huge. So now Bayern are six points behind us with a game in hand. If they win their game, they see themselves go within three points of us. And that puts the pressure back on us. And we ha do have them to play in the next episode. I'll be playing just the one game against Frankfurt and then straight into the Bayern game. So, yeah. Anyway, by Bayern drew with Mainz or Mainz. That's massive for us. So, we do still have the potential to draw with them away from home or even lose to them. And we still have these last few games to try and get as many points as we can from that. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. There's a bit of an interim there. Sadly, we're out of the Champions League. But hopefully, next time we can see ourselves advance even further towards the Bundesliga title. It's going to be a tight one towards the end of the season because we have some very difficult games. Some very difficult games. So, yeah, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as ever, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.